Hey everybody, and welcome back to Omni Legacy. Uh, it's been a little while since I've played, especially since we've been doing so much tally glitch, which <laughs> I'm probably going to end up going back to since after the way last time ended. Uh, yeah, I'll say it, I'm pretty sour. So we're going to be playing as Sir Dude. Dude. Um, we're going to be a Hokage. Um, and we can't see in 3D. That's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy going on here, but... I mean, our base damage here is 115, which is pretty darn real ridiculous. Uh, we forgot to uh, save some money because we had Sharon's Obel, so we didn't have to pay that 79 gold that we just had, but, you know, whatever. We managed to get some, some good stuff because we got so much money. Uh, we are going to one-shot stuff for a while, so I'm going to take the same strategy that we have for the Maya and basically just aim downwards. Can try and get to the darkness as fast as we possibly can. And that way, we can use the castle and basically everything else as healing. Pretty much the standard strategy that I've been using for a while. But it's one that I think is worth using. So I'm actually going to actively avoid things if I can. Oops. Okay. So this very chest is no jumping. Uh, I feel like I've seen this one before. I eh, see we've already messed it up. Basically you have to pick the right, the correct path. All the way down to where it is. Which in this case would have been... Yeah. Pretty darn far. I am going to destroy everything here, though. There's no enemies. Yeah, unfortunately, there's some false paths and other stuff, so... Unfortunately, I chose wrong on the very first option. There are a few different... I think there are a few different layouts of this that can show up, so you really do have to kind of guess. Obviously, you can see that two of these are fake anyway. Uh, but we actually do have a further path, so... Oh, we have a journal entry. I thought we might be done with these. But it would appear as though we are not. Journal entry number 24. Yeah, nothing. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we might be done. We'll get to see if there is, but... I have a feeling there is not any more journal entries. Still looking for a way down. Kind of rushing a little bit. If I can find the teleport, this will make the, our, my life so much easier. Oopsie. Um, well, it looks like, yeah, that's the forest, so I actually went the wrong way to begin with. We're gonna go back to the start. Because remember, everything that I kill Everything that I don't kill is 3 HP later, basically. I don't have much choice but to kill these guys. Ah, eh, sure, why not. Okay, we got Sharon's Oval again. Uh, definitely nice, it means that we don't have to spend all our money. Uh, this is good, because this is healing, so if we ever come to a point where we are very desperate, that'll work really well. Yeah, I'm just going to be running. We want to get to the darkness. And we found it. So being a Hokage is going to be very, very useful here. We're basically going to one or two shot everything. Basically now everything's fair game to be killed. And we're going to start our collection of money. We're so close to one shotting most of these. We don't have a ton of health, but we do have a decent bit. We really need to kill that eye wherever it is. 
Oh, we got it. Unfortunately, we did take a bunch of damage, about 50% of our health and damage there. Let's see if we can find some drumsticks here. This room we were just in. Alright, we've taken quite a bit of damage here. Okay, at least we can one-shot that. Come here. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that there. Like, I looked up and I saw a bunch of those bouncing balls. Oh, looks like I missed 15 gold. Alright. And we get you through the wall. That's very nice to find that drumstick there. We walked into my trap as well. We are still slowly regenerating health as well off these guys, but we are likely losing faster, that was close, than we are gaining. These guys take two hits for me to kill. And I'm trying to stay balanced on this because I don't know what's at the bottom of this. The answer is nothing good. We are about three hits from dead. Everything seems to be doing about 25 damage. 20 damage. We are certainly about three hits from dead now. But this is, yep. That was a real chest. I looked on the map to be sure. Oh, and we found the boss. Uh, I'm not going to go in right away, because I'm trying to make some money here. But with with the boss being found, uh, I'm going to retreat to the start here to heal back up before we continue exploring. Just because it'll be really easy. And we can start making some money. But basically this means that I'm going to be running through the castle as though I hadn't explored anything. Unfortunately I have, so I kind of don't entirely know what I have and haven't cleared. Luckily it shouldn't be too challenging. I'm just going to run through the... Uh, pathway to where we were teleporting from first. Should really leave those because they're guaranteed drumsticks. We're just going to start the other teleport and move back in, make sure that we have the castle clear. Once again, I'm going to leave those teleports, uh, leave their healing stuff there because I know for sure that that's where I can get it, just like uh, I could have used Just like I could have possibly used the uh, font right there to heal myself and chose not to. But we are back to being full health, so back down here we go. Taking tons of damage super quickly. Now I know I'm safe here. I just need to find a safe path. Okay, that was really bad. Uh, mostly because I thought I'd kill it in one shot, and didn't. I'm trying to get up to the teleport so that I can go back to the castle and heal, because that room was very dangerous, and I probably lost a good bit of gold by leaving that early, but I lived, which is, I think, the more important part. When a lot of stuff's going on and we start panicking, which I didn't go full panic, mind you, but trying to find the right way out is not always easy. I like drumsticks. And we're back. 
I didn't think I had cleared everything in this room, but I guess I did. Oh, that's right, this is the opening room. Sorry, I lied. 5 HP is what those are worth to me, not 3. I thought those were all balanced rooms, but they are not. It's still okay. Okay, we are slowly building our health back up. It shouldn't be too long before we can leave the castle. And I did it again. Keep hitting those. This is, in fact, the Maya. And since I've already got a decent bit of health, uh, I'm going to use this as some health recovery as well. Mostly because there's no reason to not. Assuming, of course, I don't get hit. I'm still one-shotting those things. Which is definitely to my advantage. And we're not making any bad money, either. In fact, we're almost full health. Yes, that one was unfortunate. However, we are still slowly clearing the Maya and making some money. I'm actually a little surprised I didn't get hit there. close to four. Leave your three kills away. Well, we're, we're back. Oh, man. That's really unfortunate, actually. It would have been nice to have gotten that at a later time when maybe I was significant, more significantly damaged. A lot easier going the other way. And back down. to kill that one without taking damage. I'm not entirely sure. It was a little bit of luck in there. That things just didn't go a little differently. It is possible to open those while running. Oh man, we've already racked up some decent money. And we are just eating through these slimes. And then taking a bunch of fire damage. I'm just going to keep walking. I have a bad feeling that this is a boss, but it's not. I believe I've already read the text on that one. So this is how we have to get through. I'm already pretty wounded again. Oh. I think I have to go. I think I have to go. We just do not have the uh, defensive stats to stay here very long, especially when I'm being a little silly and getting punched by things I should be able to dodge. But I still would not call these circumstances dire. So now back to clearing out rooms, banking money, and uh, hopefully recovering to full health. Ooh. So, guard box 2000, which we did manage to kill, managed to take us out. Those homing missiles really hurt. And despite the fact that that seemed really promising, uh, it didn't last very long. In fact, it didn't even give us the kill on it. The fact that I saw it disintegrate did not change the fact that we didn't get it on our list of killed enemies. So that was unfortunately really short. I was expecting that to be a lot longer. But we'll just choose our air and uh, go from there. 
A Lich King. Another Hokage. I think we're gonna go with the Hokage. I really liked the way that it was. Now we do have 74, almost $7,500, but we do also have the ability to increase that because we have Sharon's Opal. So I think that's what I'm going to do with Karen. I I'm still gonna say it wrong. As you can see right there. We have Karen's Opal, which means we do not have to pay to re-enter. I'm not gonna re-enter this episode uh, because if these are truly long, then uh, it's not really gonna help us any in terms of episode length. This episode's just gonna be super, super long. So unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit on the shorter side. But this should be coming out on Monday, so... I don't know, maybe it'll come out with something else. We'll see. Anyway, hopefully you learned something from the episode. Um, I think the theme more recently has been uh, I should stop being bad. That's, that's something that you guys should learn, uh, that I need to stop being bad at the games that I play. Uh, and making silly mistakes. And also that Guardbox 2000s have homing missiles that really should be, you should be wary of. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, hopefully you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.